we have a nice start to a day. It's kind of calm right at this moment. It's nice and chilly. It's uh, not really cold, not, as you see. Not cold, cold. We started out at 39. It's like 42 now, I think. But it's calm. It's calm. There's no wind. And when there's no wind, the humidity is extremely high because everything is soaking wet. Uh, it makes it a little bit chilly, but not bad. Not bad. Uh, we're going to try to get this house wrapped up yonder. This is going to be a challenge with just two of us. We really needed a third person, but um, I think we've got it worked out where I believe we can do it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Yesterday we got the roof finished, so all the metal's on the roof. It's not, the pretty stuff's not on there. Uh, none of the trim's on. None of the trim, but we have metal on the roof. Yes. And we're excited because we're almost in the drop. Almost. we got severe weather coming this weekend, possibly, so we've got to get this thing closed in. <laughs> yeah. So we're fixing to get busy putting house wrap up, and thank goodness it is not windy. Right. Which side do you want? You want? Uh, I want the low side. Well, both of them are the same. You got a ladder and you got a scalpel. Which one do you want? Let me go with the scalpel. Well, I don't know. I'd probably go up the ladder either. Okay. So what well, are we you, doing? Oh, you just, just hold it right now. I don't need you to do anything. I'm going to go up and try to undo this and go all the way to the top and get it nailed off. It's going to take me a little bit because this is soaking wet and I don't want, uh, I don't want to fall. My gloves are going to be wet. That's why I wore them. This is going to be a little bit of a trick here. Now don't, don't pull when I undo, just hold. Because I've got to try to work this up. I put a mark in the very center of the house wrap so I would know where the center was. You just hang on to it. You don't have to lift it up. Nothing, just hang on to it. two plastic caps there so we can make sure that it's held. I'm about, from where the camera is, I'm probably 25 feet in the air. At least. At least 25 feet. And I'm about maybe six feet. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm six or eight. Pulling it up till it's level at the bottom. Look, we're only worried about me and you. Don't keep ours level. Come down, you're way too high. Okay. I'm trying to look to where we've got it straight across. I am right at the top of Jack. Right at the top? The top of the word Jack. Okay. Uh, come down to the bottom of the word Jack. I can't see you. Okay. okay. The yellow? No, the word Jack. Pull it tight and pull it to the bottom of the word jack. Okay. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to guess that maybe that's going to be pretty close.
And that is what I'm talking about, perfectionism. Don't it look great? Jack's Home Improvement will be proud. It is break time. We managed to get the uh, house wrap on the back. What'd you do? Oh, porch time. You did porch time. I shot porch time early this morning. Yeah. I have spice muffins with uh, cream cheese icing, and you have sweet potato with a pineapple. But I know that's. I thought this is a deep south pineapple. It's a combination. And it's actually got pineapple seeds on it. I'm gonna pump it out there and see if it'll come up. <laughs> Who knows? We may have a pineapple growing out here. Mm. I've never grown one from a seed. And Danny has water and I have the Chino. Vanilla nut. It goes great with this spice. Oh, I'm just a plain old person. I just drink plain stuff. So we're starting on the back wall in about 10 minutes. Yeah, we're going to put the start in the middle. Uh, now, I'll go ahead and say it now. There's a couple of things uh, that you that you can do. I'm not necessarily going to do it right now. One is when you start a wall, if the gable is going to line with the wall, which it should, you want to start right in the center of the apex at the top with your first sheet where there's a rib right down the center of the top of the building and there's a purpose for that. When you put your trim on, there's something to fasten the trim to. Uh, but because we're going to have a shed off the back, it's not going, you're not going to see both of them coming down together like this. So if mine's off a little, I'm not going to worry about it because we got a roof that's going to divide the two of them. Um, the way I'm doing this is a little unconventional. Uh, I had to build my barn this way, and the only reason we're doing it like this now is for time purposes. I'm not going to be able to put the roof on as I go up on the back porch. I'm going to have to build the whole building because of the weather and then come back and attach the porch to it, and I will show you how I'm going to do that whenever it comes time. I've done it on many buildings before. It's never been a problem. And that's why you did the barn. The barn's done that way. Uh, it's been there for years now, so it just it's just a little bit more time consuming to do it the other way. Um, it would be a lot easier to to do it as I go, but because it's so high up yonder, I can't stand on the roof of the other porch and work off up there and work in that high part without building a bunch of scaffolding off the other roof and I don't want to do that when I already have scaffolding I'll just sit on the ground and reach it. So we're just, we're just going to opt out to put the porch on later. So guys, porch in the future.
Sitting there watching, I think. Too much time thinking. Yeah, you can hear what it is. Yep. Can you go up or down? Mm -hmm. This point forward, I gotta put the trim on. Well, I gotta screw all that top off across there. Once the top's all screwed off, then I go back and put the trim on it, and then we start the gable. After lunch. Well, we got to put the window in first and then start the Oh, we got the window in. That's right. Oh, I said, what's holding me? I'm going to have to do some uh, notching up yonder. Cut that up. That's all right. It'll work right now. Go under it. Okay guys, what we're installing now is called a Z-bar flashing. It, uh, where, where the gable comes down, it sits on top of this and any water that hits it will come out and run over this metal here. It, it prevents water from going in behind the, the other metal. That's called a Z-bar flashing. Now technically this is going to be covered up because of the porch, but I have to have it because of the way we're building right now. Like I mentioned previously, I'm not going to be able to just put the porch on and then stand on top of it to reach the gable, so I'm having to go this route. It's not the route I like doing, but it's the one I have to do. If you wasn't going to be putting a porch over this, and this was just going to be an end wall, you would come back and you would put a screw in the top of these ribs right here to tie this all together. Now you wouldn't use the type of screws I've been using in the roof. You would use a screw that's called a stitch screw. It's got a 5 16 inch head. It's about one inch long. And it just it would just stitch right into the tops of these ribs across here to, uh, to tie all this together. And it wouldn't be sitting here. But I'm going to have a 2 by 6 going over this. And going to be bolting to the building in here. So I don't if I put screws in here, it's just going to hold me off of the wall that much more. So I'll just wait and put my tube of sixes over it, drill a hole through it, and put a bolt through it to hold on to it. Okay guys, this is the window hole that we have cut up here in the uh, apex of the building. We have the house wrap folded around the inside and tacked off. And this is what's called, uh, this is called a window wrap. This is a very sticky tape that has an aluminum surface on here. It has a, like a, a butyl type tape underneath it. Um, I put this as a eight inch wide. I put it because it uh, keeps water damage from around in this. You know, sometimes water will, windows will sweat and water will get in around the bottom of them. This prevents that from happening. Uh, you can see I cut a piece and put it in the corners because when you cut this, you have to kind of like split it across here on the other and it leaves a wide gap right here. So I cut this and put it in here and then folded it over on the insides. Done that on both sides. Now the window will just sit in this on top of it and then we'll come back and we'll put this kind of stuff right here but it's only four inches wide rather than eight inches wide around the outside edges of the window and that will seal the window from having any uh moisture being able to get in around it from the metal I've already checked the hole. The hole is already plumb and square, so we don't have to worry about that. And I think we're good to go. Now, I'm installing the window with two and a half inch roofing tacks. A lot of people use screws. I don't like to use screws. 
because it leaves a big head sticking out and uh, roofing tacks do a, a really good job. They're galvanized. These are really long. Make sure your window is closed when you're installing it because if you don't, it could, uh, a lot of people like to lift them up and reach in and hold them. Your window can get out of square when you're doing that, so make sure you leave it closed and locked. comes the hard part. <laughs>
Well, guys, here we are. It's done got late. Uh, we pushed the limit today. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got a lot done, but we got a good bit done. It's just slow and tedious. And Wanda went and found our handy-dandy chairs. And when we sit down, it's almost like Danny's recliner. Oh, it's almost like my recliner. Yep. These uh, things are some good sitting lawn chairs. Uh, we're, uh, we finally got everything cleaned up. We're ready to start back tomorrow if everything goes all right. Uh, we got half of the gable in the back completed. Uh, we got all the house wrap on the front gable done. Um, Metal on the back gable, most all the way? No, no all, half of the over way. Over half the way. We got the whole back wall done, but half of the gable on the, the yeah. metal on the gable. Uh, and it's a lot, like Wanda said, it's a lot of up and down. Climbing up to get scalping, coming down, cut, you know, I mean, it's just, it's very tedious work. Uh, but tomorrow we should finish out the other half and we should be able to get most of this gable up here if everything goes all right. And if that's the case, we will have everything except the half gable here in the front to work on. And um, only time will tell. Depends on how we feel tomorrow, how our health is holding up. And we are very blessed to have it as far as we've got. Yeah, because every piece cuts now, just about it, and yep. that's what's taking the time. And so, guys, we're headed in. We gotta go collect a little bit of wood, build a fire. It's not too cold. It's not too cold, but it's very chilly right outside. We have to have the uh, ranger running so we can have <laughs> lights. We didn't realize the time it just gets away from you, and you don't realize how dark it is, and you're like, oh, wow, you know, so. One day. One day we're going to have lights in here. Yes. So thank you guys from Team South Homestead.